Blessing Saints. I'm going to give you a uh, summary of the redemption plan of our Lord Jesus Christ, what he did for us. First, I want to say all we have to do is just believe that he did this for us. He perfectly fulfilled the law by one man's total obedience, and that man was God, Emmanuel, God with us, Jesus. Only he could fulfill all righteousness, because only God is holy and righteous. No person after the fall that has ever walked this earth is without sin. We were tainted before we were born. We were tainted during conception and after. There's no getting around it. It's in our DNA. We are not sinners because we sin. We sin because we are sinners. If you've transgressed one part of the law, you've transgressed all of the law. And you are henceforth unclean. Unfortunately, we were conceived in sin and birthed in sinful flesh. So yes, praise our perfect Lord and Savior Jesus. Yes, God loved us so much that not only did he fulfill every letter of the law, that means 613 do's and don'ts of the Torah, it's called the teaching. He fulfilled the law for us in our sinful flesh on our behalf, but he also took our punishment of his own righteous judgment. For the wages of sin is death. Yes, the first Adam failed and did not keep the law. But the last Adam, Jesus, fulfilled every letter of the law by keeping all of it. He kept all of it. Only God could have done that. Imagine God loves us so much that he came down from off his throne, out of his kingdom, and humbled himself and became a man, putting on sinful flesh. But because he was also fully God, he was able to keep every letter of the law. So as fully man and fully God, he lived and died in a garment of our sinful flesh. But death could not hold him, because Jesus kept every letter of the law. So he rose on the third day, and by believing in him who the Father hath sent, we are now saved through grace. And that means unmerited favor. You didn't do nothing to earn it. By faith, it is not of your own works, lest no man should boast. So what an awesome, loving, merciful Lord, Elohim, we have to come down here, take our punishment, our sin death payment, our debt, so that if we repent, that means realize we are sinners and that we need a Savior. And believe that He did that for us. That He was the one time perfect, spotless Lamb of God. His perfect, only begotten Son. That was a one time blood sin offering that was put on the altar to atone for our souls. And act as our propitiation for all sin. And that he took our righteous punishment and death. And then was resurrected from the dead. Because he was sin free. Death could not hold him. Because he was God. So if we accept that and believe in him. And not in ourselves. And our filthy works. Because the Bible says we are as filthy rags, never to be clean and righteous any other way except through his finished work on the cross. Not ours. No works of ours can do anything. Then we should have everlasting life. For John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son. For whosoever shall believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Just believe in Him. Not believe in Him in works, 
but just believe in him and what he did for you. That's it. He took your punishment. And now through our confession and belief, we are then made a new creation in him only because of him, his work, not ours. We are no longer bond servants, slaves to sin and death. We are now adopted sons and daughters of the Most High King, betrothed. That means we are married to him for eternity. Sealed to the day of redemption. We are sealed in him, saints. We cannot lose our salvation. That is in Ephesians 4.30. He came to set the captive free. Now we are joint heirs with Christ. So now through grace by faith, so that no man should boast in their own works. Only his blood, his righteousness, has been imputed to us. We are unclean apart from him no matter what we do. No matter what we do to earn it. All praise and glory goes to no one but him. No one but our Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior. His work was finished on the cross. He said, it is finished.